You're not Amish anymore if you left the community. So what am I now? An American? I was an American before. I was When I was born in the United States of America, I was an American at birth. But I was an Amish American. You know, people ask me, how does it feel to be an American now? That's kind of offensive to me. I've always been and considered myself an American. But I've also considered myself an Amish person. Because that's my heritage. That was my culture. You know, my as far back as I can trace my family roots, they are they have always been Amish people. They moved here from Switzerland in 1754 and settled in Pennsylvania, 26 years before America became a thing, before the Declaration of Independence was signed, before we declared our independence from Great Britain. A and it was even years after that until they won their independence. But before America was a thing, my ancestors were Amish. So the, my Amish heritage goes further back than my American heritage ever will, if that makes sense. It's, it's just the way of things. And the way, the Amish language was my first language. It was the way I was raised. I was an adult when I left by English standards. And I'm also not an English person because what you call English people, the Amish people call English people, they have went to high school. They have, they got their first car at 16 or they had that, they were allowed to drive in cars. They were allowed to use cell phones. They were allowed to have bicycles. They were allowed to do all these things that I didn't do. My life is a culmination of my childhood growing up Amish, of learning to work every day on the farm except Sunday. Sunday was always a day off. Uh, pulling weeds in the garden, mowing, mowing the grass in the yard, uh, milking cows every morning and every night, feeding the chickens and the pigs and the horses and the cows, uh, helping to plow, make hay, you know, husk corn, all this, all this stuff that made me an Amish person. Now, there's a lot of farm kids out there that are doing all this stuff, too, but I did it all with horses. At six years old, I was driving a team of horses, of draft horses, in the field with a wagon and a hay loader attached to the back. That was because I was Amish. At eight years old, I was driving a buggy down the road for the first time. Uh, I talked my dad into it because he needed a part. We were at a neighboring farm making some hay, and he was fixing the hay mower. He needed the rice grips or something. He sent me home. I told him I could go home and get them. My mom freaked out, and she ended up driving me back over there uh, to take the things back because she was so scared about it. I will always be an Amish person by heritage that has left the Amish community. Now, I get it that some people do not are not proud of that fact, and they don't want to be considered Amish anymore. I'm not saying that they have to consider themselves Amish, but I am always going to be proud of the fact that I was born and raised Amish. It makes me who I am today. And I'm being shunned. People who aren't Amish are not shunned. 